square. From women's eights to men's eights, this is the junior men's eights events, the Princess Elizabeth uh, Challenge Cup. And we've got, well, I'm looking forward to, oh, sorry, this is not, this is the ladies' plate we're at here. And this is University of California at Berkeley and the Thames Rowing Club and Army crew. Here we go, we've got the right graphic. Thank you, and off they go. Wow, fast and ferocious at the start. We've seen some great starts today. Everything's hotting up, isn't it? It's Friday, and both on the banks and on the water, there's been a real step up. Yep, the temperature is going up, and we went from a moment of stillness to an explosion of power from these two crews. University of California, Berkeley, a seeded crew on the far side, and nearest us, Thames Rowing Club and Army Rowing. They had to qualify for this event, so they're expecting this to be a tough one, so got to start hard. Yeah, they will have front-ended their race. They know they've got to go out, go for it, and see what they can do. And you know, it feels already they're a little bit clinging on coming out the island, but they're definitely giving it some in this Thames and Army crew. But there's some power going down, isn't there, in that University of California Bar Berkeley group? Yeah, let's see what can happen. The Thames and Army, well, they have got 61 Henley appearances between them. So there's a ton of experience in this crew. We've also got youth and age uh, sitting there in the five seat, 36 year old Nick Cusinelli in the Thames and Army crew, 36 years old. But at two, at 20 years of age, it's Edward Sharp. So a range of experience here blending the crews together. And on the far side, California Berkeley uh, easing away every single stroke. Yes, they have got extra power, haven't they? They've got more length, more power, and that's, you know, each stroke, you're just all the time increasing the gap, increasing the gap. And it's tough, isn't it? Army and Thames, what do they do? How do they suddenly create more power? How do they suddenly create more rate? Well, we joined the race live down a bit further down the course, and the sunny side of California coming here to Henley could bring a little bit more sun at this stage of the course but they're in a comfortable position a seeded crew in this regatta they've actually got 11 Henley appearances between uh, some of them uh, which is always helpful in this unfamiliar course the markers you're used to aren't there but they'll in be now in a position to be able to enjoy approaching the um, stewards enclosure seeing the growing crowds we've had throughout the week here at Henley the first six-day Henley Royal Regatta in history, and it's proved extremely popular with crowds returning to live sport at scale. This record-breaking regatta in terms of the number of entries. Yeah, they've really enjoyed that row, and they'll be enjoying the appreciation there, adding, getting themselves ready for that next race. I think we had over 50 uh, appearances, didn't we, in that Thames and Army crew at previous Henleys. So all of their experience they brought today, but they have come up against a supreme crew. Really class rowing from the California Berkeley crew. Booking their spot in tomorrow's races, Saturday at Henley. It's a big day. You definitely want to get to the weekend if you possibly can. Thames and Army glancing across the line. They've given it absolutely everything. And they can be proud of their efforts. And in the ladies' plate, University of California Berkeley beating Thames Rowing Club and Army Rowing.